I think that bow might have some useful stuff too. Hey, uh, ooh, a couple ammo boxes, missiles, some casual wear, more missiles, even more missiles. Power armor? No. <laughs> there you go, hockey mask, plungers. Off we go. There you go. Just gotta go up over there. Oop, getting a little chuggy. Aww. Yeah, it's okay. Oh look, is that another trading caravan? What do you have to offer? Pro. Looking to trade? Sure. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. Ah, uh, yeah. He was the uh, armor guy. Not bad. Not bad. Repair? I need my blaster repaired. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so... Here we go. Ooh. What happened over here? Hmm, rotten. Let's see. Hmm. Hey. All right, up we go. I think that's something over there. Oh! <laughs> Hello? Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. <laughs> and yeah, try and blow me up and then bring me over. Yeah, this is fantastic. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Uh, well, I have this letter for the West family. That's great. But I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What kind of trouble? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. And what's got you so spooked? Nothing. The family are just a bunch of damn punks. And why don't you fight back then? Yeah, sure. I'll just go and take all of them out by myself. What are you, crazy? As soon as they roll into town, I lock my doors just like everyone else. We could really use some assistance here. All right, well, I guess I'm glad to be helpful. What do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. I mean, fine, why not? I mean, you go throw a grenade at me and then you go tell me to go help you out, sure. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll go now. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, I've noticed. All right, knock on the door. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Uh, what are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan. He's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. And let me unlock the door for you. Yep, total stranger. Yep, unlock the door. Sure, why not? Yeah. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love. Look, 
She's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? I uh, mean, King told me to check in on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Okay. So then fine. Then what's your real take on Evan King? Well, he's town mayor or sheriff or whatever he calls himself. He calls all the shots. When he says to get the heck indoors and stay put, we do that. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? Everyone is keeping themselves safe from the family. If I was you, I'd do the same. You want to know more? Talk to Evan King. All right. What do you think about the family? They're low-life scum who decided to use Arafu as their own personal amusement park. Oh, they're a fun bunch. I'd take a shot at them if I could, but judging from what they did to the Brahmin, I wouldn't live long to tell about it. Well, gotta go. Good. Now get out. Hello, you. Good to see you. You must be exhausted from all that walking in this horrible heat. Oh, and hungry too. Sit, please. Braley Ewers is the name. Don't mind my husband, Kenneth. He woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. And King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Oh, he's such a dear. I must remember to make more of those preserves he loves so much. Can you tell me anything about what's going on around here? Oh my, I don't know. Mrs. West is probably whipping up a batch of her famous cookies, and all the kids are playing in the yards. It's so nice outside. The grass looks lovely this time of year. Uh, okay, you know, it's the, you know there was a war 200 years ago, right? Well, I must speak to my husband about that. We could bring it up at the next homeowners association meeting. Ah, oh, I do love meetings so much. I think I'll bring muffins. Okay. You got yourself a real winner over there, Ken. You really do. Okay, well, off we go on a magical journey to check out if everyone else is okay. Uh, Shenzi. Yes, who is it? Emma King sent me, uh, can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in, I'll unlock the door. All right. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Evan mean, King told me to check in on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Uh, so what's your take on Evan King? He's a spineless wimp. His best solution to the family is to stay inside our homes and hide. What does that tell them? It tells them that we can be pushed around whenever they want. I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of King. Can you tell me more about what's going on around here? We're scared shitless. Evan King's got everyone so worked up about the family, no one wants to set foot outside. That asshole runs the show. But does he really do anything about our problem? No. Okay, and what do you think about the family? All they do is terrorize us. They taunt us to open our doors, throw bottles at our houses, and scream at us. If I knew King had my back, I'd step outside and show them just how I feel about their visits, especially after this last attack. Okay. Well, everyone's pissed off. <laughs> but what can you do? Alright, let's get going. Alright, so. Here we go. Ah, Evan King's house. This is what I was looking for as well. No one's around to see me do this. Perfect. Okay. Ah, there you are, Mr. Bobblehead. Ta-da! 
found a Vault-Tec limited edition bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Why go down with the ship when you can try and fix it? Repair skills have been permanently increased by 10 points. Yeah. Wish I got that before leveling up in the last one, but eh. <laughs> what can you do? Ooh, what's in the fridge? Noodles and crunchy mute fruit. Okay. Or mutt fruit, as I always call it. Hmm, boxes of ammo. Ooh, I'll take those shotgun shells. You never know when you need more shotgun shells. Okay. Oh, there's a tub out in the back. Okay. Well. Let's get to this last location. West Residence. Well, this is wonderful, isn't it? Oh, Dead things everywhere. Oh, yeah. as hell. Yeah. The body of Wes has bite marks on the neck area and that go to the bone. The lack of blood stains on the sheets is strange, as any bite or wound that, of that depth should have caused massive bleeding. Nothing else on the corpse of the indication what happened. Well, ain't this wonderful? Well, let's go talk to him. King. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? All except one. Did you know the West are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you searched the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? No, I found the parents' body. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weird old leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Don't worry, Evan. I'll figure out what happened to the West. Thanks, kid. You're all right. All right. I have a message for the West family from their daughter. I can't take that. You're just going to have to bring it back to Lucy or to Ian if you can find him. The West had bite marks on their necks. Mean anything to you? Bite marks on their necks? That's the strangest thing I've ever heard. The family must have attack dogs with them or something. Oh, this is all I needed right now. What am I going to do? They'll keep coming back until all of us are dead. Uh, well, you know, is there anything... Well, where do you think I can find the family? I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. Problem is, they always travel in the dark, so I can't see exactly where they go. There's all kinds of places they could be hiding, like Hamilton's Hideaway, the old Moonbeam Cinema, or Northwest Seneca Metro Station. Well, I think there's only one other place, because I've been to two of the three, but I gotta go. Next time I see the family, there's gonna be hell to pay. Well, off we go then. Now it's a rescue mission. Where is it now? Uh, Northwest Seneca Station. Off we go. That way. Watch it. No, this was a dumb idea. Excuse me. <laughs> Hairbrained idea. I thought there was water. Water to land in? Yes. Wow, did you overlook that? Yeah. Oops a daisy. 